rest in peace to you, YouTubers. Take me on the ride with me. Just <clears throat> drop my son off at my mom's house. He's got to be at work early in the morning. So, and I got to be up early. But, um, just, uh, say this. Uh, thank you, Lord, for another day. And see, I've been working both jobs. So, I'm going to be slowing down on here some. You know, I was burning up and, you know, I'm going um, to be watching my videos and commenting sometimes, you know. <clears throat> but, yep, school is about to start back. All uh, my students will be back in class. <clears throat> so, that'll be next on Monday. Then, also, I'm working a second job now, too. So, <clears throat> like I said, I'll be doing that maybe a couple nights a week. But I told them specifically, you know, I'm only wanting to work 20, no more than 20 hours a week. Because I'm already doing my hard labor and my full-time job during the day. You know. But let's see. I'm going to see how long. Because I hadn't worked uh, two jobs in, what was that? Since, it's been about almost 20 years since I worked two jobs. Because I used to work two jobs when I first started and went to school when I was younger and after I got married slowed down and I definitely slowed you know down when my, my son was born so yep now like I said um, the wife is gone my son is grown and you know, I still have a 16, a 15 year old daughter, you know, that I look after. Hey, I just decided to take on another job. But like I said, I'm still not going to be doing crazy hours like I used to do. Like I used to do work these long hours where I was almost like two full time jobs, 16 hours a day. Nope, I ain't doing that no more. Nope, can't do it. I'm too old. <laughs> Be doing that much. And I still need my rest as well. So, um, I just thank God for his strength to be able to do it. Like I said, a little part time gig, you know. But if that becomes too much, then I'll let it go. But, um, you see, they're doing world work over here. So, with that being said, you know, just as long as I'm able to do it, I can still do it. I will. But if it get to be too much, like I said, you know, then I'll, uh, I'll just have to let it go. Okay, it's always good to, you know, have a little... You know, extra side gig on, on the side there. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it at all. About to hit back on 8 Mile. Coming down Telegraph. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they doing a lot of road work around here. Now, governor's not planned. She says she wants to fix these doggone roads. And she's doing it. But with that being said as well, God is good. How many of you woke up this morning in a groggy mood or, or just bothered in your spirit or just just being plain frustrated? Just being plain irritated in general I'm going to tell you this 
Don't let the devil steal your joy. Because guess what? That's what we got to do as people of God. Stay focused. Yeah, we're going to have some moments. But the thing is, us as people of God, we got to bounce back. Sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. and You know, but we have to. Because we're going to go through some things regardless. I mean, even if you walk in this safe, you know, walk. With Jesus, he said, the trying of our faith, work, and patience. He said for us to count it all joy. Because guess what? The joy of the Lord is our strength. And that's what we supposed to be dependent on. I know a lot of us, and I know myself included, sometimes can get in the flesh and let the emotions get the best of us. But the thing about it is, God is greater than these emotions. God is greater than, than, you know, the cares of this world. God is greater than, hey, our flesh. And this is where we got to put flesh under subjection and learn to deny ourselves. Because, um, just to hear about so much going on in this world, about these children being killed, they think, I don't know for sure, about this um, baby, this two-year-old baby who was last seen with his father, I don't know. They said they found the body, um, for, uh, but they don't know if it's certain if that's that, of that two-year-old boy. And then another young 11-year-old girl who was killed by some neighbor or whatever. I mean, it's just, and, you know, all this the stuff that's happening with these, you know, you know, our women coming up missing and stuff like that. You know, it's just, there's a lot that's going on. And like I said, I know it gets next to me. It bothers me. But I have to pray and say, Lord. You said these things, different things was going to take place. And it's things that's happening is above and beyond our control. But he told us to stay focused. Keep our whole arm on. And I say that quite often too. Stay rooted and grounded in his word. Be steadfast, immovable, always abound in the word of the Lord. It's a lot that's happening, but we got to be rooted and grounded because we're going to be covered. You know, things going to happen, but we got to stand, stand strong, stand firm. Certain things that I hear about, yeah, it tugs on my emotions sometimes. And that's that human side of me. But I got to realize, too, greater is he that's within me than he that's in the world. And my true dependency is on God. It's on God, not man. Nobody else. You know, we got to trust God wholeheartedly. Depend on him. Because he's the only one that can see us through. He's the only one that can guide us. He's the only one that can teach us. He's the only one that wakes us up in the morning and breathes the breath of life. We don't do these things on our own. No. It's the Lord that does it. He breathed the breath of life. Just like he did with Adam and Eve when he created them. He blew into their nostril and the breath of life came in them. He breathed the breath of life. I don't just say he's only the head of my life. I say he is my life. Because without him, I can't do it. I'm not going to try to do things without God. Because he is, he's not just the head, but he's my top. 
my back, my front, my side. He's everywhere. He's all of, he is my life. He's the center of my joy. He's my peace. He's my very present help. And that's why I say I'm blessed where I stand. Because without him, I'd be a, a sheer wreck by now. I probably wouldn't even be here talking to you. I have a testimony at one while, at one time, you know, I was silent, you know, you know, with this depression, wanting to take my own life. And I know I've told that before online, you know, where I was going through, but you know, there's more testimony I can share with you. And I'm going to uh, do that one day where I could just sit down and just, you know, hey, just be transparent with you. Because what you see right now is what you get. And if it hadn't been for the strength of God and the prayers of my mother, where would I be? I wouldn't be here today. I'd probably be gone or crazy. But guess what? God kept me. He kept me. He the one that picked me up, turned me around, and placed my feet on solid ground. And that's not just a cliche. That's true. It ain't about what I, what I heard. This is what I know, because my encounters, my experience, my testimony in Christ. Yeah, like I said, without test, without trial. You all have a testimony. So, I mean, you got to go through some things. We all went through some things. We all going through some things. But it's to be part of our testimony. We're overcomers by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and the words of our testimony. Loving not our life to death. We're overcomers, y'all. Yeah? We're more than conquerors. Yeah. Getting closer, but I just want to just take y'all on a ride with me. And just say, hey, just talk to you. You know, nothing, you know, big, you know, or anything. Like I said, I'm not live. I'm just, you know, just recording. I just wanted to. You know, just share a little something with you. Give a little word of encouragement and upliftance. But one day I'm going to get back on live. Like I said, I've only been on maybe live maybe my whole duration of being on YouTube. I've only been live like maybe three times. Three times. Yep, that's it, Bob. Total three times. Once where we, you know, I live streamed that church where, you know, I did the message. And then uh, the devil tried to play with my voice then because that the night before I had to, you know, been in the hospital because I swallowed this fish bone. But I ended up coming up that, that Sunday and the Holy Spirit had his way, so... And then, like I said, you know, still, at, during around that time, I was still coping with the, you know, the passing of my wife. It was around, yep, so, and um, so, so much, you know, that still is going on. But if it have not been for the Lord, man, 
He's good, y'all. He is. He's good. He's good. Like I just said, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Pushing. Pray until something happens. Pushing. Press towards the mark of the prize that I call him of God in Christ Jesus. Pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Keep pushing. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. And God, keep pushing. You're the lender and not the borrower. Keep pushing. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Keep pushing. I just have to say, just keep pushing. Keep pushing. And keep going. Let nothing, nothing, nothing stand in your way. Nothing steal your joy. Nothing take away your peace. Because your peace of mind is everything. Your peace of mind is what, you know, is what is going to get you through. Your peace of mind. Not man's approval. Not being pat on the back or looking for something from somebody. But your peace of mind only comes through God. Your peace of mind only comes through God, not man. If you look for man's approval, and guess what? You're looking the wrong way. Because my approvals come from God. We're supposed to encourage one another, yes. We're supposed to be uplifting to one another, yes. But we saw supposed to be able to take take constructive uh, criticism. But the thing is, even when you receive constructive criticism, your peace should still be in God. Your peace should be in God. Because God, he even chastises us even when we think the wrong thing, say the wrong thing. Or do the wrong things. But keep pushing, y'all. Now, I'm going to say that this, take your hands off. Don't try to do things on your own. What I always say, and my slogan is, let God do it. Because guess what? He's the one that can handle it. He's the one that can fix it. He's the one that can restore anything that the enemy has stolen from. Only God. And I know I've talked to y'all for a little while. I'm almost home now, but that being said, Sir Boy D, I love you all. Stay blessed. Have a good night or a good day, wherever you may be, where, whenever you're listening to this. Know that I love you. But number one, God loves you. And like I said, you do right by yourself, then you do right by others. Take your hands off and let God do it. Peace.